When you run out of luck, need to get unstuck, so go off. When you rub against the wall and you cannot fall, so go off, go off. I finally made it to a little bit past Albuquerque. That's where I decided I was gonna end up camping. Um, I was planning on getting a hotel originally, but I decided, you know what? If you're gonna do camping the whole time, do camping the whole time. Um, so here's the campsite. 25 bucks a night, got cover. Looks like, it doesn't look like it's gonna rain tonight. The forecast says it's not, but we've been having storms kind of the whole way in. But this is the setup for tonight. So everything went smooth on the bikes. Definitely no complaints. Just drying out my laundry. Getting the tent all set up. It's not very breezy tonight, it's a little warm, so I'm gonna leave it uncovered since I have cover. So yeah, we'll see how tonight goes and off to Colorado in the morning. So the first night of the trip, the whole magnitude of this trip and what I planned on doing really kind of sunk in. And I'll be honest, I totally could have turned around and I felt like I wouldn't have regretted it, but I knew deep down I would have. So I kept pushing forward. Now that the trip is over and I'm home, putting all these videos together, I am 100% glad that I decided to continue. And hopefully you guys will find these videos entertaining, but also see the journey that I took and hopefully inspire you to take your own trip. I really kind of just jumped into it and it turned out amazing. There was definitely some bumps along the way, but at the end of the day, it was definitely an adventure and it was exactly what I needed. So this is the hill as a kid I always remembered. We were getting so close to the campsite once we got to this turn right here and the whole valley just kind of opened up. And that's when we knew, okay, we're getting close. Definitely brought back some great memories coming down here from back when I was a kid. So at this point, I got down into the valley, getting really close to the turnoff, at least the what we remember to be the turnoff. We had to search Google Earth for a little while to remember exactly where the road was, because, heck, that was 15 years ago. Following down this road, finally ended up making it to that dirt road and starting the new adventure. So this is the following morning. I ended up leaving my campsite and tried to find some spots that we went to go riding when I was a kid. Father's Day weekend about 15 years ago, my brother, my uncle, and my dad and I, we ended up taking our last ride of the trip and we saw some smoke in the distance. So we decided to ride our bikes out towards the smoke and kind of figure out if it was just somebody putting their campfire out at the end of the night or if something was going on. So we ended up riding out there. And once we got there, my dad and my uncle told my brother and I to stay here and wait. So we waited about a minute, probably 30 seconds went by. So we turned off the bikes, took our helmets off and kind of tried to listen and it was completely quiet. And then the faint distance, we could hear one of them whistling. So we put our helmets on, um, start the bikes and zip down the road and we finally catch up to them and this field's on fire. Um, I guess a bunch of college kids, I'm assuming, st started a fire the night before. They had a fire pit that was four rocks, basically made a square. They were just corners of the square and there was this large stump with the tip just poking over it. So we ended up just doing rooster tails. So for everybody that doesn't know, you grab your front brake on your bike and you give a throttle in the rear and your rear tire shoots up dirt. Um, trying to help spread dirt and put the fire out. It ended up getting a little too crazy, so my uncle left to go try to find help while we continued. He found a bunch of kids and said, hey, do you guys know how to shoot dirt? And they said, heck yeah, we know how to shoot dirt. So they ended up all coming back. There was probably at least four or five of them, and we're all just doing rooster tails all over the place. We were eventually able to get in contact with the uh, fire department, and they were able to get out to us, but at that point, we pretty much had it all put out. So they came out and just kind of sprayed everything down to make sure there was no embers that were buried under the dirt that would start the fire again later. And that's kind of how our uh, Father's Day weekend ended, and it was the end of our trip. After that, we ended up heading back. Definitely one heck of a trip. So coming up are a few photos that I tried to recreate from back when we put that fire out. So 
this was us, that was the stump, kind of cut up a little bit, but, and then here's what I think it looks like now. You could definitely tell there was a fire. Some of the trees were dead, um, like that one right there to the right. Um, but overall, everything healed fine. Um, didn't really change a whole lot. It was kind of crazy being back there because the last time I was there, I was 15. Actually, I wasn't even 15. I was younger than that. So it's crazy being back somewhere that you haven't been in so long, but you remember like how to get there, for example. It was kind of crazy. Super cool. Definitely glad I went out here. The last thing I did before I left this spot, I planned on staying a couple more days, but the weather for the rest of the week definitely didn't look appealing. Like I would have had to pack up in the rain. I would have been hanging out in the rain the most of the time. So I ended up leaving early and just heading down to the valley to see some family. But along the way, I ended up making an additional stop. But I'll tell you more about that shortly. Hey family, so this is the spot where we put out the fire. So coming in from the road over here, and then moving over this way, I thought we took the photo here, but after walking around, I'm pretty sure it's down there and that's where I retook the photo. So I'm gonna walk around this little roundabout so you guys can take a peek. So right here is where I recreated the photo. I'm pretty sure it was in between these two trees because the little trees, I can kind of get them to line up roughly. Over there didn't line up at all. But there's the field that we went through. Doing all the rooster tails, trying to put out the fire. Looks like it recovered fine, except that tree ended up dying. Um, but I'm pretty sure that one got burned too. That one looks fine right in front of me. And there's the field. And then here's all those other little campsites. It looks like there's only like one fire pit in here now. I don't see a bunch of little ones like we did before. Definitely no beer bottles and trash. But this is it. And it was only like a 10 minute ride from our campsite. It's funny, as a kid it felt farther. Um, I don't know, it was the last ride of the trip, but definitely a lot of good memories out here. But I'm gonna head back to camp. Got to get the stuff out of the hammock. And then I got to pack the hammock here and then everything else behind me, get it all secured and uh, head on out. And before I go, so here's one of the trees. I don't remember this one being on fire and it looks fine, but it definitely looks burned here. And there's a hole over here. I don't remember if that's where we put the stump. I don't think so because standing back here, the trees just don't line up to where it, was and if I go over here this doesn't look right either so I don't know hopefully I captured it somewhere in this video <coughs> but so here's one of the trees and then the tree that I'm pretty sure we were standing by because I'm pretty sure that's where the stump was was right here this tree right here which is now dead but I thought I remember, oh yeah, there was two little ones. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so these ones were on fire too. They looked like they healed all right. And there's the field again. So, yeah, okay. I'm getting tired. I got a lot of stuff to pack. And I was hoping to be out of here by 10. I think it's 10 right now. So I'm gonna be a little behind, but no rush.
myself was able to find the spot that we used to go camping at as a kid and right across from this camp spot was a place to shoot so after we went riding all day we just hung out at the campsite um, so here's a quick little drone video kind of showing you the setup that I had um, on the big spot behind my bike right here that's where we used to have our camper and then everybody else just kind of fit in around it and uh, we used to launch rockets here we used to have a lot of fun um, so here's me recreating another photo I'm in the blue bike and keeping with the same theme stuck with a blue bike again apparently heading on out I'm heading to Mount Evans now which is the highest paved road in North America so elevation of 14,000 feet so hopefully I don't get any uh, uh, altitude sickness and I can make it all the way to the top um, but I got about an out two and a half hours to get there so let's get after it So I'm on my way to Mount Evans and I had to pull over. Uh, there was a perfect little spot down here to come down from the main road and then enjoy the river a little bit. Like this, it goes straight up to the river. So absolutely gorgeous, couldn't not stop. To the top, even though it started to hail um, and it's cold and windy, but got all the way up here.
at this point, I finally made it down from Mount Evans and all that that entailed. I ended up spending a couple days with family and then packed up and started heading to uh, South Dakota. So the next video will be the adventure from Colorado to South Dakota and Sturgis and everything I did there, kind of showing off the change of plans that I had. But I'll get into more of that later. Until the next time, take it easy.